Why do preventive medicine programs fail? There are three main reasons why preventive medicine uh, programs fail for those who participate in them, and we will be covering those today. Number one is an individual's unwillingness or lack of discipline to complete what is required of them. When someone is unwilling to remain disciplined in a personalized medical program that involves preventive medicine, they are not going to reap the rewards of the results that they desire because they are not putting forth the work to begin with. Uh, as the old saying goes, you can lead a horse to the water, but you can't make it drink. People can pay all the money in the world and be provided all the data and given all the recommendations, but if no work is done to be able to follow through with what the program is suggesting, what the coaches are saying, what the doctor has to say, then one should not expect to reap the results. And that is one of the reasons why preventive medicine fails. Number two is a company's lack of a comprehensive scope. There are many comp companies out there who do preventive medicine, and there are certain personalized medical programs. But as far as a comprehensive scope, many of these companies are lacking with everything that should be there. Of course, some companies may do testing. They might look at gut microbiome and blood testing and genetic testing, but they may leave out uh, testing on hormones or looking at uh, doing brain scans. All of that is absolutely essential. Some companies might do all the testing that's required, but they just give the data in a transactional format to the client, but then the client is left on their own to try and interpret the data and try to do what they think might be necessary. Here at Tiger Medical Institute, we make sure to provide uh, a coach to come alongside, not only having a doctor translate and having periodic meetings with the doctor, to speak on what is going on on the genetic level and looking at the root causes, but also having a coach come alongside and encourage the client and being able to uh, act as their accountability um, person as they are guided along through this long-term approach of preventative, of preventive medicine. And lastly is a transactional service rather than an all-encompassing, empathetic and professional approach. Again, it's easy to give people data, it's easy just to say, do this, but if there isn't the empathy involved to walk alongside the client for a long period of time and not setting them up with the right resources and the right coach to come alongside, then a preventive medicine program is not going to fulfill its goal because the all-encompassing pro approach is lacking. So those are three main reasons why preventive medicine and personalized medical programs tend to fail. And here at Tiger Medical Institute, we do all the testing, we provide the coach uh, to come alongside through empathy and encouragement and accountability. Uh, we provide multiple meetings throughout the year with um, our doctors. And so if you would like to know more about what we do and understanding preventive medicine, uh, I would encourage you to visit our YouTube channel where we post videos frequently at Tiger Medical Institute and visit our website tigermi.com and go to our learning center where we have a wealth of information on preventive medicine, personalized medical programs, the top fears uh, and common questions people have when joining Tiger. It's all there. Uh, just feel free to visit our website and look at our YouTube channel for that as we continue um, to be here and, and give you the content needed for you to be able to optimize your health, increase your energy, and in the end, expand the longevity of your life.